Hey there, hey there everyone. This is Shanvi Patel and here is me Travel. And we want to tell you something that is most important to learn English language. Guys, if you are thinking it's grammar so you are wrong. Because grammar is very small part of learning English, but parts of speech, parts of speech is a most important and useful for learning English language. Yeah. There are eight parts of speech. So Janvi, could you tell me which are eight parts of speech? Yes, definitely dear. Noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, prepositions, conjunctions and interjections. Great Janvi. So my dear friends, without wasting our time, let's start our presentation. Our topic is very useful and we use it in our daily conversation. It's called to conjunctions. Okay Janvi. So, if we want to make a sandwich, so which ingredients we need to make it? Um, we need bread, some vegetables and cheese. So friends, our conjunction is like cheese. Without conjunction, our conversation feels like a sandwich without cheese. I know friends, first thing comes to your mind. What is conjunction? So, a word that used to for joining verb noun adjective and sentence and there are three types of conjunction and today we are going to tell you only one it's called coordinating conjunction they can join to verbs to noun to adjective and to phrase for example this is we can institute for learning english language so for is coordinating conjunction so guys i want to tell you one more example all children want to eat pizza but no one ready to buy it so but is also a coordinating conjunction dhanvi me and taksha are my close friends so and is coordinating conjunction and when last he had more rupees yet she looked very sad so yet is also a coordinating conjunction i will go shopping or i will go camping so or is also a coordinating conjunction so guys in short for and yet but they all are coordinating conjunctions so my dear friends now i hope co- conjunctions are very easy for you thank you thank you special clap for these two sir